What's up everybody, I am Blitz. Welcome to Styx Master of Shadows. This game is an infiltration game with RPG elements taking place in a dark fantasy universe where you sneak, steal, and assassinate your way through as Styx. Speaking of Styx, here he is right here. Uh, Styx is a goblin who is about 200 years old, somewhere in there, and he is the main protagonist or the playable character of this game. If you recognize that name, he is from the Of Mor Orcs and Men universe. Uh, the game came out uh, a couple of years ago, some time ago. I'm not quite sure when it did, but he was one of the two main protagonists in this game, and now he has his own spin-off game where he is a sneaky little goblin with backstabbing tendencies. Uh, this game does feature a lot of killing and profanity, so if you are sensitive to those sort of things, you may want to kind of look the other way on this series. Other than that, this game, I've been playing it as I've been playing it. It is a real blast. Uh, developed by Cyanide Studios and published by Focus Home Entertainment. They were nice enough to send me a key, a press key, so I could play it a little early. I hope I didn't say that already. I kind of record my intros a couple different times. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to do a brand new game. going to load over or save over my old save files. There are four different difficulty levels. Goblin is the quintessential hardcore stealth game. Uh, for the sake of the video, for the sake of the series, that is not what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be playing on normal. The other ones, it does, difficulty does ramp up. I've tried a couple of them out, and these are definitely difficult if you don't know what to do. So I would suggest maybe playing easy or normal for your first time through, and then going up into these for others. There are unlockables in the game. We'll get into that. Uh, the game does have about six minutes of... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Cutscenes to begin with. And I'll have an annotation here that you can skip forward if you would like to. Otherwise, I'm going to be quiet and let you guys listen to the backstory. The Atrium of Akinash. A world shut inside another. This is what humans do when they don't understand a thing. They build walls around it. They put locks on the doors. And they put soldiers in front of those doors. The bigger the secret the bigger the lock. And the craziest are those who want to pick it. May my ancestors forgive me. I'm one of those to my misfortune. Ah, this noise. These voices. I can't stand it. Amber. That damn golden mud oozing from the heart of the world tree. A magma of sticky dreams. All the thoughts of those who wanted to taste the forbidden sap. Humans. Elves. All their private little chatters mixed up in this disgusting soup. A flood of ideas constantly flowing into my head. For all these years. It took so long for me to find this place. With each step, I heard my voice a little less, and all the others a little more. I'm so tired. It's time to finish it, while I can still recognize my own thoughts. The heart of the tree, it's why I'm here. That, at least, I am sure is my own desire. Take possession of this source of infinite power, but also misfortune. It's time to move to the first phase of the plan. Drop you a weapon. And it starts now. All right, beast, wake up. Answer when Lord Barnumin speaks to you. Who are you? Speak. My name is Styx. There's a surprise. The elves give names to their monsters. Where do you come from? I've never seen anything that looks like you. I am one of a kind. It's the elves who created it, Father. That's obvious. They pulled this runt out of their sticky larvae, and they sent it here to spy on us. Speak. Is it the elves who sent you? Why are you here? <laughs> elves. If you only knew. They don't need spies to find out what's going on in this accursed tower. So, you're working for them. What did you come here for? I came for the heart of the tree, of course. I knew it. Those degenerates want to retake the tree and keep their precious amber for themselves. 
Father, we must bring them to heal while we still have time. Enough, Aaron. I secured this alliance with the elves, and I intend to respect it. For the moment, we need the elves. You know it very well. Rubbish. Oh, yes, you do need the elves. How many of you poor little humans died the last time you tried to extract amber by yourselves, huh? How many? Hundreds? Oh, yes, you do need the elves. But they don't need you. How long do you think you can lock them up in their own world? The amber is theirs. The tree is theirs. The heart of the tree is theirs. And I intend to get my hands on it and take it away from here. They're dying to get their tree back, eh? But they won't do a thing. We have an agreement. An agreement? We don't sign agreements with people who have amber in their veins. <laughs> You're out of your depth, Mr. Governor. Oh, ho, 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 you've got some nerve. <laughs> I'm sure you've never even seen the heart of the tree. Oh, but I have seen it. Since I've been holed up in the bowels of the atrium, I can see it night and day, even in my dreams. And every day I say to myself, Hey, Rakash, the heart of the tree is over there, almost within reach. And by your life, you're gonna find some way to steal it, because you're not leaving the tower without it. Was I? Shit, my brain has an anvil. Yeah, yeah, the heart of the tree. What did I do with my dagger? I should be able to climb up there. All right, so I'm going to interrupt him. I think he's done talking. Uh, basically, the control, C is crouch, F is roll. You can roll through things. Uh, space bars jump. And the game is sort of, I guess you can see the, the, the whole storyline of it. There's some sort of world tree. The elves are clinging on to the humans have kind of enslaved the elves maybe a little bit and then you got this little booger who kind of comes into play We'll have to see how in the future of the game. I'm not really sure um, I've just been playing the intro over and over but uh, the game kind of assassin like with uh, Maybe a little Assassin's Creed in it where you can kind of interact with the environment You can't hold on to every nook and cranny like you could in uh, Assassin's Creed But uh, there are these little handholds that you can jump up control your guy around Space bars jump around. As soon as we come around the corner up here, these guys are going to interrupt us again and talk. Do you see the dagger that Duncan found? I wonder where it comes from. It's not from here. Yeah, well, don't get excited. We'll play for it with dice tonight. In the meantime, keep your hands off. Okay, okay. I'll wait till tonight. All right. So they found the dagger. Talking about my dagger. We need to go get it. It can be far away. That makes sense, right? So that's the room we spawned in down there, or I guess spawned, would it be spawned? Sort of. There's a vial of life here. You can eat that, pick it up, and use Q to use it. You can see the bottom right corner, there's the health bar. Pretty neat. Uh, there is some amber there. I don't really know quite what the amber does, but that's the cell I was in. And we continue climbing. So you can see on that, um, we can go around them. Basically, Assassin's Creed would let me jump up and grab another one. These are only the handholds. Not so big of a deal. It seems like the world, the, the levels are fairly open. Like there's 10 or 12 different ways to complete them once you do get in. But you do get a little bit of that. You can see sometimes not quite going exactly where you wanted. And then you need to crouch around. There are items in the game like that bucket and mop that if I bump them, it'd wake that guard up. So we're just going to sneak around through it. We don't have a dagger yet, so we can't kill him. And that black box on the side of the screen is annoying me. Uh, hopefully we can get rid of that soon. There are some dudes down here. Uh, so we need to figure out a way to get around them. Navigate in the dark. You are the master of shadows. Stay in the dark by making the light. Go away. Okay. Avoid running and farting. I think I can do that. So there are the guys. They aren't really paying attention to me. Hopefully, I could have rolled through that. Let's open up the gate using the lever. We are back in here. This is going to trigger another cutscene. The world tree. It seems so close, but it's a mirage. It's so big that it 
seems to be close, but I still got a long way to go. So, from what I heard, the only access to the heart is a bridge which that two-faced Governor Barron has had closed off with a tamper-proof lock, and he keeps the only key in his apartments. And as if that wasn't bad enough, the whole area is crawling with elves. I'm gonna have to go down into the prisons and free my... Uh, friend. He knows how to deal with an elf. <laughs> So, if I'm gonna survive in this tower, I'm gonna need somewhere safe to get organized, as well as a map of the atrium. Well, I'll get nothing done standing around here. I'll get my dagger, and then it's off to work. Perfect, so we're gonna go find the dagger now. Uh, we can crawl through the little tunnel right here. There's a lot of these Gotta around. Be oh, be sneaky. We can hide under these, as long as they're not aware of us. They kind of get the little beacon, like, um, a little bit of, what's the word, uh, Metal Gear Solid, kind of the exclamation point. You'll see, I'm sure I'll aggro someone, get them mad at me. Uh, we're going to sneak now, because that guy's looking. We're going to sneak under here. We're very quiet and very sneaky. Very, very sneaky, sir. Got to wait for him. This game has a lot of timing involved and a lot of planning. Uh, that's what makes these stealth games a lot of fun. You could probably go through the whole game without killing too many people. Uh, I know you have to kill at least two. Ah, my and they're coming up in the next room. I was afraid that I lost you, my baby. Pick it up the dagger. We're also going to look at these signs. This is a plan. A map at the door. Maps. And we can go into the mission screen here and it'll show us. So we came through here. This is where we kind of were at. Came through this way. Came up. The dagger was right in here that we picked up. We can look out at the world tree from here, here, or here. And then we can continue on in. I think that's how it goes. Uh, you need a weapon, and then go to the distillery. So, that's our goal. We'll continue on. And this is going to be... Is this, this is where I came from. We don't need to go that way. Let's go out the door. You can watch through the door. Look around, see anything. That's the way we came from over to the left. There's the big, awesome-looking tree. I really am enjoying the art style of the game. It's not 100% realistic, but, you know, it's not a Nintendo 64 pixelated polygon mess. I, I do like that with it. And we're going to open up the door. Double E to do that. Or just single E. I could use that lever to open up that door, but I don't need to. And then we can climb up. And then over. Good. Spacebar, climb up. And we'll continue over. And hit C button again to uncrouch. Move a little bit faster. What do we have in here? Number one. Always strike from behind. Perfect. Remember to land on the carpet to make less noise. So that you can see that there are two different kill types. There's the muffled kill, that what we're doing to this guy. I can't leave this stiff. And he just kind of glitches out. We can also interact with the the items. <laughs> I love it. And in games like this and like Skyrim Oblivion, where you bump into a chair and it just flies across the room. I find it hilarious. I love it. And we can pick up the dude um, and then throw him in the cupboard here. And then we're clear. Clear to move on. Hit C button again to move a little bit more. Crouch back down. And this guy, there's a guy right on the other side. You're going to see him. He's going to try to kill us. Grab the grab the, the Powerade there. Drink some of that. Open up the door. And ta-da. Hey, girl. What's your name? Parry. Parry and kill. Kind of a timing, you have to do it about right right timing, and we can pick him up. Oh, uh, I can drop him off on the table. And he's just going to kind of sit there. That's perfect, buddy. You'll be great. You'll be fine. Just wake up in the morning. Uh, that's the thing we already activated. Shut off the lamp here. Good. And now what is in the main room? Look through here. What do we get? Some, some guys down there. Ooh, hello. Let's go get that. So this is kind of played through. Uh, probably more of next episode is when I haven't got into the game. I played this intro quite a few times, and I still mess up. So it's fine. Grab that. Turn the light off. I love his little scurry up the wall. I think that's really cool. And there is sand here, and we can make a we can make a little spitball. 
So let's go grab that, pick up, and then we can spit across there. You can see if we change with the mouse wheel, we can go through things. Get a spitball, shuts the light off, fill up our spitballs again, and then we can sneak across. We could get out the door. Uh, we do need to go through the room. Looks like we're kind of clear, so we're just going to sneak under the table. Okay, sneaking one complete. He's turning around. Uh-oh. Do I want to kill him? That's my question. I think I'm going to let him live. Okay, let's continue on. Uh, let's get out of here. Awesome. So you can see, like Assassin's Creed, I'd be able to scurry along that thing at the top of the screen. Not this game. I kind of want to kill that guy. I'm going to have to wait for him to move. Not to inter... Okay. Got him. Muffled kill. Hopefully this works without Agar and the other guys. And I'm going to take him, pick him up. And... Um, let's just hide you in this corner. I thought I could maybe throw him over. I can't. Ah, he's going to be fine. He's done it. Oh my word. Look at his eyes. They're all rolled back and his teeth are glaring. That's nasty. Hey, buddy. Oh, don't... You're going to come over here, huh? Oh, you're going to be fine. There. See? He's awake. Turn around. Gray-haired guy. Turn around. And I'm going to sneak up these stairs. A little scurry. Scurry my little bad self up the stairs. A couple of lamps. Perfect. Oh, my. Shit. More guards. Take cover behind the barrels. Oh, wonderful. Someone had a little bit too much Ebola in his system. Don't, don't, I wonder if uh, goblins can get Ebola. I doubt it. They're kind of nasty little critters, but I am hiding behind the barrel. And they don't see me. I could kill them now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to pass around the corner, get through here. Awesome. There's another guy right there. What I think I'm going to do is go outside. Okay. Can I sneak across here? They're both right there, man. This is the hardest thing in this game, is there's set areas that you could go. I could go in there, guns blaze, and kill them all. I'd have to do my parrying thing. Oh, they just saw the dead guy. Saw a little circle pop up. I think I'm going to go. Oh, he didn't see me. Awesome. I'm going to pass over. Oh, they're coming over. Shoot. That's not good. I wish I could grab him and throw him over the side. That'd be awesome. Okay. That dude's got his back. He's leaving. That dude's coming in. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Ooh, ha, got it. Okay, we're going to sneak back across this way. That guy's over there. No, 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 no. Oh, he almost saw us. Okay, let's leave. Go. Perfect. So far, so good. Close this up. Towards the distillery. Unlock skills. We can go in the tab menu. Uh, we can look at the skills here. And I can increase my stealth. Skills can only be learned at the hideout. We're not even close to the hideout yet. So we're going to go to that point. Uh, let's unlock this door. Main objective succeeded. 10 SP. I'm guessing that's skill points or something. XP of some sort. And then we can leave the zone. This is going to prompt another cutscene. Seems it loads pretty fast on my solid state hard drive, so I probably won't be editing out these too much. I gotta get me some amber. Yeah. That, that would straighten me out. Down there, maybe? Alright, continuing on. We're in here. Uh, you could hear that the amber is like his lifeblood. He needs it to go on. I, I don't think we can even go back in there. We can't. There's two elves or humans or something that are just chilling, staring at these pods. I don't I don't understand fully what these the amber is, but I think through the game we're gonna do it. Study these cocoons more. Hey girls, it's cool. Don't touch the barrels. I throw a ball of sand to turn that off. I don't need to worry about that. I'm gonna do it anyway. Check through the keyhole. Guy away at the end. I don't see anyone else. No one's up top. Let's do it. Let's go in, unlock the door before those guys come after us. Double check, make sure they're not coming in. 
I hear walking? Nope. Open. Alright, I saw this little area here. We're, we're gonna slip into here. Looks good. Grab the amber. Awesome. He's all about that. And now we can do the cloning thing. Uh, we'll show you that in a little bit. There are these little these tokens every once in a while. Uh, and I, I think they're collectible in the game. Well, they obviously are. So we're going to create a clone, as it's telling me. There's a little hole down here I can crawl into. And this guy is our little spy. I think this is Rakash. Oh, I need to control my clone. I'm going to stand him up, though. Yep. I can sneak through. Then I can open this up. E to activate. Yeah. So it's like a little a little mini mini sticks. I don't know what it is. I can sneak and I can move around. I'm going to go through here. You see that guard up there? Um, he's... It's right there. So he's staring directly over here. What I'm going to do is sneak around this corner and run. I'm going to run up here. And I'm going to return right now. I'm going to return and I'm going to use sticks to run through. Steal a body and do it yourself. So that dude's still up top. Let's sneak down. Now we're in the main room. Okay, I'm going to sneak around the corner. Awesome. Amber Vision. Amber Vision is a new mechanic they just introduced right now. Uh, we can use the three key on our keyboard, and it shows us everything that's interactable. So there is the that thing right over there is the lever we pulled. Here is a a thing we can hide into. And there's a guy sleeping over there. If I look at that, he'll actually he should show up as white. So there's a guy up top, right above my head. That's white. He's a bad guy. And there are a bunch of other things we can interact with. Always a good idea. There's another dude. Always a good idea to keep. Ooh, let's grab this. Keep an idea of what's going on on the map. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to climb up here. And now I'm going to try to get rid of some of the guys. There's a guy way over there. Can I just climb up and over? Yes. Was it really a playground? Uh, ooh, unfastened? Oh, wow. Nice. That's pretty cool. Okay, we just... We stole the key, or the thing on the ground, and now there's a guy that just came around the corner to look at us. Uh, what we could do is go on and explore all of these rooms. For the sake of this video, I'm not going to explore everything here, um, but I am going to explore a lot more in the future. So the hideout is that way. As you guys saw in the tab menu, it says you have to have the hideout to get your skills. We're going to go into that in a second. We're going to try to get there in this video. I haven't... I mean, oh, there's another unfastened thing. Is there a guy down there? I really want to squish someone. Anyway, it'll distract people. Oh, oh, oh. Almost missed. Can I, can I get across here? Can I go up? Oh, I can go up right here. There we go. And is there anything over here? Don't see anything. Let's jump down on this ledge. And is that another ledge there I can drop down onto? Looks like it. Let's try that. E to drop down. Go through here. Oh, sweet. I made it. Ah, this is it. I've played this game, I played this level maybe five or six times, and I have never done it this way. So this is kind of new. This is pretty high up, it looks like. There are things to get down over there. There's a health potion right down there. Hmm. That's where I came in at. What's over here? Okay. Bad guys everywhere. There's another coin on the table. I almost need help getting down. It's a pretty high distance. I don't want to get any damage from falling. Um, I'm going to go over here, and there were these things on the wall. Saw the little white crosses on the wall. I'm going to try to get down using those. So it should be just right here. Hide under the table. Try to grab this thing. I already have its full. Okay, anything around the corner? No. Oh, there's a guy right there. Hmm. How do I do this now? That's where I need to drop that thing on his head. Oh, he's leaving. Uh, looks like a fire pot. 
Sneak around. Corner. Good. Made it. Uh oh. Can we cut the roofs? How am I supposed to do this? Rather than reinforce all around. Are you kidding me? It's about as much use as bird I see. On a pump uh, let's turn out that light. From distance. I need to get up on that ledge. Do I see anyone? No. How do I do that? There it is. Okay, there's that hole. Bad guy. Nope, missed. Oh, it's fine. Oh, he saw me. Did he see me? No, he didn't. Look around the corner. Come on, buddy. I may have to kill you. Oh, there's a lot of people in here. Where'd you go? He's fine. Oh, snap. No, 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 no. You hide. I could maybe dispose of him. Okay, he's going away. I'm going to try that again. I feel like I can make that jump. Is there... No. Let's try it. Ow. Shoot. Well, that doesn't look good in there. Can I get on that? No. Okay, we're up again. Here we go. This will do it. Crouch down. Hello? <laughs> now I know he's a guy over there. Well, I must have been dreaming. Oh man, there are so many bad guys here. Hideout is six meters over that way. That's a whole, like, 20 feet. And it's up? I have to go up? Okay. Oh, that, I thought that was something else. Oh, so many people around. Oh, no, 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 no. No. He didn't see me. Good. Oh. There's a guy right here. Oh, there's a coin. I got an idea. I'm gonna go steal that coin. Ha <laughs> ha. I'll show you what's going on. Peekaboo. Come on, get up there. There we go. Up, up. Towards the hideout. Perfect. E, leave the zone. Okay, we're probably going to get a cutscene, and I think we're going to hit that at the beginning of next video. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this. This has been uh, Styx Master of Shadows. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like down below. Guys, if you want to see more of this, go ahead and subscribe. And always remember, keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>